Whatever happened, Stop it. happened quickly. Stop. Okay, they're coming. They're less than a tenth of a mile away. Antioch police arrived. Can you tell me your brother's name? Angelo Quinto. Angelo what? Quinto. They restrained Angelo Quinto face down, got on top of him. Does he have a pulse? What is what's happening? And then, silence. And it became very quiet. I was asking, you know, questions, and they, they're not responding to my questions. Quinto's mom, Cassandra, what happened? assumed the officers knew what they were doing. They actually said this is what we do to calm them down. Bouts with mental illness and deep paranoia had afflicted Quinto for at least a year. He died days after Antioch police restrained him. His family says that's when a lawyer warned them, beware the police explanation. But he said, if they have nothing else, they will blame it on excited delirium. A warning that ultimately proved prophetic. And we all just had this shock mm -hmm. here upon hearing that because it was the very first thing that Ben said to us mm -hmm. eight months previous. A forensic pathologist admitted it's poorly understood not that it kept him from concluding it was the cause of his death, which led to this manner of death accident. Because if it's an accident, then it's Angel's yeah. bad yeah. luck yeah. instead of being the fault of another human being. Yeah. In other words, it was that poorly understood phenomenon, excited delirium that killed Quinto, not the officers who restrained him face down. The, yeah. the odd thing is in this case, it really seemed like a reach. A reach we've now tied to 139 deaths across the U.S. The theory behind excited delirium is that the body becomes so revved up, so excited, that it causes the heart to stop. Critics say it becomes a convenient excuse when someone dies in law enforcement custody. Of the 139 deaths we've tied to excited delirium, 137 happened during or shortly after law enforcement contact. It's a lie. It doesn't exist. California Assembly member Mike Gibson, a former police officer, was so incensed by what he saw on Angelo Quinto's death certificate. His death certificate should be, in fact, corrected. He decided to sponsor this bill, Assembly Bill 360, which says excited delirium shall not be recognized as a valid medical diagnosis or cause of death in the state. It is absolutely time for excited delirium to die. I don't think it's a coincidence that this term is being used by medical examiner's office when people have been placed in custody or restraints. His bill, now sailing through, would prevent medical examiners from even mentioning excited delirium as a cause of death. Because it's a legal document, it's a document that insurance companies and others rely on to be truthful. No state has done this, but Gibson expects others to follow should his bill pass. I mean, I think it's very slow progress, and it's one step at a time, and it's, you know, it's a long fight. Angelo Quinto's family wants to lead this effort nationwide. His sister, Bella, says she'll do it for her brother. That he believed in me so much. Um, I think probably more than anybody has ever believed in me. A few months ago, during a deposition, the forensic pathologist who originally concluded Quinto died of excited delirium admitted he missed something, disruption of his respiration. That's my opinion now, he said. New potential cause of death? Positional asphyxiation. It really is troubling, right, to use science, medical science, it's used by the government to defraud the people and to exonerate officers that have committed crime is beyond despicable. Antioch police still deny its officers did anything wrong. A motion to change the manner of death from accident to homicide is still pending. That's Chris Vanderveen reporting. The legislation will hit another committee vote in a week and a half. Here in Colorado, Chris has attached the deaths of eight people to that term.